Hey friends, it's Ken Dunn here. I'm uh, speaking to you today right from home. Finally home after 24 days on the road. Um, just snuck away into the music room for a second to get away from uh, uh, to have a quiet place to talk. Uh, this is my second surf report. <laughs> you know, first let me tell you, I, I'm not um, schizophrenic. It, I was calling it the weather report, but I was at the home office and Fred said, this is the beach, it's Ocean Avenue. It's gotta be a surf report. You know, whenever... Folks are looking for an update, they're thinking about going to the beach, they always want to check the surf. And so this is the uh, second surf report, and uh, it's designed to help all of our ambassadors that are out there, give me a chance just to chat with people once in a while and give you some updates about what's going on, as well as to share some thoughts that people can use to uh, further their own understanding about our company. Uh, because the fact of the matter is, uh, this is storytelling business. And anybody who's going to go out and do extremely well with Ocean Avenue is going to be a good storyteller. I want to talk to you a little bit about vision today and how we created the vision for Ocean Avenue and what it actually is. You know, we just did an amazing fly-in event down in Salt Lake City on October 26th and 27th. We had over 120 Hispanic and English leaders from all over North America descend on the home office and they uh, did their due diligence. They kicked the tires, they went through our offices, they saw our incredible 12,000 square foot facility. Then they spent a day hearing from amazing folks like my partner Fred and his wife Stacy, our partners Tuffy and Teresa Baum, our, our Vice President of International Markets, Jesse Riddle, um, our Chief Operating Officer, Rad, our uh, Vice President of Latino Affairs, Lourdes Papke and Cowrie Thompson, our CMO, Jenny Thompson, the whole team. And it was amazing. Today I had a chance to follow up with one of my guests there who has done incredibly well in network marketing. And what he said to me was profound. He said, Ken, we're in. Uh, we're going to buy our beachfront property here at Ocean Avenue. He said, but let me tell you what I saw there. He said, I actually saw an entire team of people that I believe are on exactly the same page. And that felt really great to me, that visions were aligned and that he saw that. But then, I, then he asked me a question. He said, how did that happen? How did you get so many amazing people that have all played at the highest level of their games on both sides of the proverbial table, corporate officers and field leaders? He said, how did you get everybody on the same page? How did the vision get so aligned? And, and you know, it, it was amazing because at each part of the day, a different one of our corporate officers, our executives, and my partners spoke. But they spoke at different times, and, and we weren't in the room when each other were there, which was really cool because only the best truth could be told. And it was very easy to see if somebody wasn't on the same page. And so my friend said that it was clear that everybody was completely aligned. And he asked how that happened. And, and I said it came down to partnership. And this is something that's important for you as a field leader, if you're going to build with us at Ocean Avenue, to understand from our perspective, but also when you're partnering with your own leaders and building your business. If it's a true partnership, there's a chance for a vision to be created, a direction, if you will, and that's what leaders do is create vision. But then that vision gets expanded and detailed out as more of those key stakeholders get involved. Let me give you an example. When Fred and I both first started talking about starting this company back in March and April, here's what we wanted to do. We wanted to start a company that would help take Franco Cavallari's products around the world because they're amazing. That's how this started. It wasn't started by two renegades that think they can do a job, better job of starting an MLM than anybody else. I met Franco Cavallari. I was blown away by him. I introduced him to Fred. We reviewed his products and we thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing. The world needs to hear about it. So our initial vision was to start a company and help leaders all over the world, help people all over the world with their health and their wellness with Franco's products. And then of course, with my experience in the field over the last decade and understanding of leadership, I wanted to, part of my vision was to, to use a training and development system to help our field leaders to build their brands and to extend their brands around the world. I know that sounds a little bit abstract, a network marketing company that actually helps leaders to build their own brands. 
But that's part of Ocean Avenue. And Fred molded into my vision to help leaders and build a massive billion dollar MLM business. He molded into that his vision for helping families, which just resonated completely with me, with my kids and our love for travel. Uh, we wanted our business to be about families, kids at conventions, shine bright with his daughter, the whole nine yards. But there's still a long way from where our vision started to where we are one month into our business. And that's really the, the most unique part about partnership. You see, as we started, we, were, we had the privilege to bring together some of the greatest minds in network marketing for our, field, for our um, executive team. Calrie Thompson, a former field leader, our chief marketing officer. Jenny Thompson, a former field leader, our uh, vice president of ambassador relations. Um, Lourdes Papke, our vice president of marketing and Latino affairs, a former field leader and corporate executive. Paula Crano, a corporate executive. Jesse Riddle, who has been a corporate executive in several companies and has traveled the world in network marketing. Scott Bockland, our CFO. Tuffy Baum, Rad Anderson, Chris Nino. Nick Murdoch, our vice president, or excuse me, our CIO, all these people came together. What I loved about this experience is that the overall vision for Ocean Avenue, our passport parties, the Ocean Avenue Vacation Club, all of using those tools to meet our initial vision to help families and to build leaders, it all came from a partnership where other people's visions joined ours. Let me give you a great example of that. The idea for Ocean Avenue, our passport parties, our duplicatable system, our vacation club, all of that had nothing to do with me. And for that matter, had very little to do with Fred in the rollout and what our ambassadors see today. It was all Cowrie, Lourdes, and Jenny, three amazing corporate executives who together have made millions in the field of network marketing and being corporate officers before. They deserve every little bit of the credit for how we look today, the feel, the amazing beauty of our offices and our websites. And that's their vision. And you see, the, the, the total of everything we're doing is the culmination of visions. Jesse's vision to build the business internationally. Scott Bachman's vision to build a company that has all the nuts and bolts together, to financial well with all to do it. All of those visions came together. And that's really the secret. If, if your vision is to build a, ma a massive direct selling business and to use Ocean Avenue as the vehicle to do that, then keep that in mind. In building your vision, and this has been difficult for me by times because I'm a visionary and I'm aggressive when I get a vision in my head. But the real secret to building a massive organization, whether it's the overall corporate organization and company at Ocean Avenue, or it's your personal field organization, your personal field organization. We don't own it, you do. Well, we own it together, really. But the secret to it is once you develop your vision, understand that if you're gonna ask other, ask other A caliber leaders to join you in your business, you've gotta be open enough to allow others to come into your vision with their own ideas, and it's going to change your vision slightly. But it's going to keep you on the main track. But it really is the secret to partnership. And, and that's what I said to my friend when he asked me how. It was about allowing everybody to be part of it. And giving folks the chance to bring their visions into ours together. And so that's really how it happened here at Ocean Avenue. A real collaborative, partnership-based effort. Now listen, let me tell you about things going forward. Um, here's the surf report. It's hot and sunny and the waves are perfect here on Ocean Avenue. Uh, on Monday, tomorrow, the 29th of October, the first run of commissions are going out, just as we promised. We're excited that we're actually going to be paying a couple of hundred thousand dollars in commissions uh, over our first three weeks. <laughs> it's just, it's incredible for us. Also this week, here at Ocean Avenue, our CIO, Nick Murdoch, is going to release incredible tools in our back office. You'll finally see your rank updated and tracked. You're going to see exactly what you need to do to get to the next level. And um, 
You're also going to have a lot of the reorder features that you needed. Basically, our back office will be 95% there by the end of this week. The thing I'm most excited about is that we track rank advancement on a monthly basis. So where you end up on October 31st at 12 o'clock Mountain Standard Time is the level you'll be paid at in the next four weeks in our company. Many people have come from companies that have monthly rank tracking in their business. Well, we're going to finish this month strong. The last three weekdays are going to be zany because you're going to know exactly what you need to do to get to the next pin level before the end of the month. Well, that's all we have for the surf report today. I hope you enjoyed that little piece about vision. Also, hope you appreciate where we've come to so far. We're going to have our, on our next surf report detailed information about when the products are going out. Our corporate travel schedule for November, many of our top executives and founders are going to be hitting the road. We're going to have details about the 17th of November uh, pre-launch event in Toronto, Canada, and many, many more things. I'm going to leave you with a question today. If you're watching this and it's your first glimpse at Ocean Avenue, then I've got a question for you. If hundreds of leaders have already chosen to join Ocean Avenue to buy their beachfront property here on the avenue, and Thousands and thousands of other people. Actually, to be very frank, as of yesterday, we had 1,400 people enroll as ambassadors in our first three and a half weeks here at Ocean Avenue. If all of those people have decided to buy beachfront property here on Ocean Avenue, what are you waiting for?